they're heading back to school and learning doesn't have to end when the school day does. So our goal is here with some science activities we love to do on Thursday. And I hear we're learning about maybe some circuits. Yes. Right? So, yes. Very cool. Today we're going to talk a little bit about electricity and how it flows. Um, so I brought this little toy. It's called an energy stick. Energy uh, stick. Sounds simple. Yeah. It doesn't look very exciting right now. No, yeah. But if I hand that to you. <laughs> well, it's quite a bit more fun now. So, ah, but when okay. I held it, it didn't do that. Yeah. So I held it in the middle, but inside there's actually um, like a little buzzer and some lights. Yeah, and you see some wires in there. These two metal pieces are conductive. So we've got an insulator here in this plastic. So when I touch it, it doesn't do anything. But if we complete the circuit. Right, and we always have some electric impulse in our bodies, yeah. and that is enough to energize that to make <laughs> noise and light. That's kind of amazing. And I like to think of circuits as a circle. So, like, if I yeah. hold one end and I give you one end, and then touch your hand. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, we have to be connected yes. all the way through. So, this is kind of a fun little toy, um, but you can create something similar to this at home with things you might have laying around, or you can easily find at the hardware store. Perfect. Well, I would love to check out a home experiment, especially if we can kind of see it. Absolutely. Do something exciting. So I've got just a couple of things. I've got some clothes really pins, simple. a couple of batteries, a little piece of cardboard, some electrical tape. Um, this is probably the most important piece. This is our conductive tape. Okay, conductive so, tape is important. Something of metal. So what is conductive tape? What kind of metal is this that you uh, have? This is aluminum. Oh, simple. So, okay. We all know um, aluminum. And so what I've got here is I've actually already glued down our battery here. Great. I do have a little lead coming off of it because we need to figure out how to complete that circle yeah. or that circuit. Um, and I put a little buzzer over here just like we had in our toy. Simple enough, make a little noise. Now, this is the easy part. So we're gonna connect the black wires together and the red wires together, and that's gonna create a circle. So I actually have um, a little bit of conductive tape we're here. We're gonna tape it on down. Huh? I know. Um, if it'll cooperate. I know. This oh, is no. this is live TV, folks. No. Right, you just gotta roll with it. <laughs> um, but pretty much the goal of this is we're gonna yes. make a simple loop, and we have these loops in our house all the time. As simple yeah. as a light switch, right? Absolutely. That's the way it works. So I'll kind of hold those down. You'll put your little piece of tape on top of there. Perfect. And You've got so we've connected our it. two black pieces together, and we're gonna do the same thing with our two red pieces. Here we go, and we're gonna make a circuit. And okay. I guess it's gonna get a little loud. Okay, so we What's know that it works. That? But that sound is pretty annoying, Yeah, right? a little annoying, yeah. So, not something I want to spend my whole day listening to. <laughs> instead of listening to that continuously, yeah. we can actually create a switch, and that's where our clothespin comes into oh, play. Oh, perfect, okay. Because it opens and closes. Yeah. So we're going to take um, this wire, and why don't you tape that to, you're going to use your conductive tape. Great. You're going to tape that right on top. Oh, on the outside, yep, okay. Yep, on the outside. So perfect. go ahead. It's Ooh. really sticky tape. <laughs> very, very sticky tape. Okay. All right. Great. I'm gonna get you one more piece because now you're gonna tape the other lead to the bottom side. Okay. Okay. Flip it over. Yeah. This is super simple. All of these things you can find at a hardware store and Absolutely. do it yourself. Absolutely. All right. Great. So now we don't have any noise. We're all connected. Yeah, nice and silent. Right. So what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna fold our tape around because we need our tape to connect yeah. in order to complete that circuit again. Okay. So. You know what? We might actually need a little more tape. And that's okay, right? That's allowed. That's part of the learning that's process. That's all part of uh, the science experiment. Okay, so let's put a little more tape on this side. Okay. Because we want a nice, complete circuit. Oh, okay. it just doesn't like us. It doesn't like us. Let's see. Oh. There we go. Yeah. So sometimes, if you don't get your tape really tight, maybe we need a little bit more. It doesn't like us. Yeah. But pretty much the moral of the story is it all has to be interconnected. It does, and what I like about this activity is it's actually something we do with our homeschool students. So I know that oh, parents great. are looking for, um, you know, back to school activities. It's like right on the forefront of everyone's mind. Um, but we do actually run a series of homeschool workshops that run from wow. September to May. So we meet once a month, and this is one of the types of activities that we would do with our homeschoolers. Yeah, get um, out of the house and still get to do absolutely. some science and some learning and hands-on experiments. Yeah, and our activities kind of build on each other each month so we're kind of always adding to that knowledge yeah. um, and then we do something like this even more um, even more in-depth at the science center you can sign up for yeah. soldering we're actually teaching you how to oh, melt very cool that is so. so awesome so how you don't have to necessarily sign up in advance can you just show up if you know these events are going on you do have to sign up for homeschool ahead of okay. time great um, but this is what our completed buzzer looks like and so I have this little guy if you hold on to here holding on pull this guy 
<laughs> Perfect. That's awesome. You guys can so, do all different kinds of cool yeah. experiments and fun things at the Imagine Station. Thank you so much, Sarah, for You're coming welcome. in. And we've got more WTOL 11 Your Day in just a minute. Make sure to stay with us.